Now that we've learned about advanced cordless, let's learn how to fabricate. As we spoke about in the previous video, your head roll punches and components will remain the same. Once your head roll is prepped and the motor is selected, turn to page 22 to ensure the proper motor placement and cording of the blind. Once that's determined, you'll add double-sided tape to your motor as we did here. You'll then insert your motor into the head rail and cord appropriately. Remember, it's important to ensure that your motor is pushed as far back to the head rail as possible. Once your motor is inserted and secure, you'll continue your fabrication process as normal. Once your slat has been inserted and your blind has been corded appropriately, you'll finish the bottom rail. Before finishing the bottom rail, Pull the cord lift cords to ensure there is no slack in the blind. It's important that this is tied off level. Here we added knots to ensure that the cord doesn't pull through. Because the cord is a 0.9 millimeter cord, you may need to use a double knot or a grommet to ensure that it does not pull through your buttons. Once that is tied off evenly, you'll insert, insert your buttons into the bottom of the head, into the bottom row. And your final step is to pull a pin. With this installed, we'll pull the pin from the motor. You now have a fully functioning, smooth operating cordless